Like I said, today, inshallah, we're going to continue with the uh, with some AI tools inside Adobe uh, Premiere. Today, also, we are going to talk about a very, very important tool inside Premiere. By using this tool, also, we can uh, make some video editing relating, for example, to splitting the, the scenes or eliminating some areas uh, based on what? Based on the text spoken inside these videos. Today we are going to talk about something called text to speech or speech to text inside Premiere. Here inside the edit, inside the preferences, we have something called transcription. Transcription means uh, uh, converting the voiceover into text. Okay, I'm here inside the preferences. I want, I need to, uh, I'm going to make it automatically, transcript clips, okay? And here, auto transcript only clips on sequence, not on the sequence, the videos I add to Premiere, okay? And here I have transcription language, I need to check enable the auto detection to make the process faster. And here I can select any language I want. Sometimes these languages are not available here. If you use one of them and try to make some transcript, it will not work with you. Why? Because you need to go to the Adobe Creative Cloud to Premiere, click on the option behind it, and then you need to go to add-ons to download the transcription for Premiere. By using this tool, we can do many things. For example, the first one, we can, as I said, we can adjust the content or the videos we have. These settings, I'm doing them to make the, the software uh, do an automatic transcript to any video I attach inside the sequence. If I want to disable it, I can uncheck them, okay? But for now, I'm going to enable them. Now I have the video I gave you. I'm dragging this video inside the inside the sequence. And here I have the video. Okay. Now to open the menu or the window for the transcription, I need to go to window, workspace, instead of editing, for example, I need to select caption and graphics. And here you can find, you can see the whole spoken text is, is available here. For example, if I select this area. If I made any selection here on the text, what will happen? It will select the area inside the timeline. See, any area I select, it will be selected automatically inside the timeline, okay? From here, I can, and so, uh, by using this text, I can edit the scenes as I said. For example, based on this text, for, if I don't want the introduction, hi everyone, this is Dom. See, this area contain hi everyone. If I select this area from here, okay, I can click on right, and then 
I have two options to delete this area inside this scene. I have delete rebel. What? By using delete and rebel, it will delete this area with what? Also will remove the space, the empty area. Automatically it will remove. Okay, see? Now, hi everybody, everyone is not available. Why? Because it is deleted by using the text. Okay. The second one, hi everyone, delete, also will delete, but what? But will leave the space inside the timeline. Okay. See? I deleted this area by using what? By using the script. The text, the spoken text, but the text available here, but here by using this text, I modified the sequence. Okay. How this could be helpful for us? Here for example, in, uh, in documentary videos, sometimes uh, a specialist need to check the text. It's better to work with the written text than with the video. Why? Because this text, we can take it to a, a, a specific soft, a, a specialized software to check the grammar, for example. Uh, and then we can come back and delete some areas, okay? All, or or uh, sometimes we have a, a, a production, for example, for a TV uh, series, and this TV series will be directed to family, okay? You know, in, in four young country, uh, uh, they say a lot of bad words. And this is, will not be appropriate for children, for example. How they can fix that? By using this the transcript, they can search here for any, anywhere they want, and they can find it. Very accurate, especially in English. Of course, it's, uh, I think until now, doesn't support Arabic, but support many languages, but in English, very accurate. Okay. You can search for any word, anywhere, and then you, from here, from the transcript, you can delete it, and it will be deleted also from the sequence. Clear? So this will be very helpful for us also, for example, for a last example, if we want to eliminate the bad words saying, uh, say uh, uh, in a TV series plan to be produced for children or for family, okay? Yeah, it's an AI. It reads all the text based on the spoken text, and then we can fix it. We can search for anywhere. We can delete it here. And this is, could help us also to make sure that the bad words, for, for example, is not available in all the video. Sometimes if we are uh, seeing and listening for the content, we might uh, uh, be not focused in a specific area. So uh, uh, we might miss some words, but by using search, definitely you will not miss any of them. You can do other stuff, but you can select all of them at one time. Okay. And here also, uh, by using this, if you can see this dot, this is the spaces between the spoken text. Also, you can make your video faster by eliminating the spaces between the spoken text. You can select these three dots with the bracket, the spaces. You can select it and then delete it to make your video faster, okay? 
The second importance for this tool is is to create subtitles or add the, the spoken text to the scene. We can use it. We can use it to add the spoken text to the scene or to translate the text to another language. And by the way, by using this tool, we can translate any uh, video contain any language. For example, to, uh, uh, to translate a movie uh, in Chinese language to English, for example, you don't have to know the Chinese. All you need to, to do is to uh, insert the movie as a sequence, Use the uh, transcript and caption, copy this text, and then translate it by using any by using any trans uh, uh, translating software or platform. Okay, and then you will have a movie translated, even if you don't know anything about the language. And this is what most of the translators now do. For example, in uh, uh, Turkish TVs, TV series. Also in Chinese, many languages. You can see now with one click, after you click here on caption, you can create, uh, click on create caption from the, from transcript. Or you can import, by the way, you can import a file, uh, uh, not a uh, different file, not the same based on the, uh, on this uh, video. You can import a new file, okay? Or you can create a new. If you click on the create caption from transcript, then click on create. See, now you will have the text available inside all the timeline, okay? If you want to fix, to adjust the the graphics for the text, you can select, for example, one area, and then you can change the fill from here. You can add stroke. You need to select the text, and then you can add enable stroke. You can add some stroke. You can add background for the text, for example. Black, for example. See, of course, you need to. You can also change the font, change the size, but you need to select first. You can change the font, change the size, make it bold, for example. I'm going to disable the stroke. All the uh, options of the controllers you have for any regular text, you can find it here and manipulate it. But see now, the the what I edit is applied on one text. How can I apply it to all text? I need to select all of them. And then here I can change the color, for example, and see. Now it is available to all text. Okay. If I want to edit the text, okay, I can click here. For example, here, I can click here, for example, to delete this text. See, now the text will be edited, okay? If you want to write, for example, Arabic, also it will be available. 
as I as I said, sometimes we use it inside the tutorials to uh, use the text as a support. Sometimes we use it to translate the language, for example, between English and Arabic. Uh, of course, we need to fix the style. But uh, as I said before, also, this tool is used wi widely. And anything related to added, adding text for a, a long video, or uh, to uh, to create or to make a subtitle for the uh, for a movie or a TV series, we use this tool. Uh, it works very fast for us and easy to work with. 